What up, y'all? Welcome back. We're doing another stipulation draft from from Unreasonable Tuna Fish, the Sorta Stip. Only draft the first three cards in the pack, but you can resort the pack at any time in order to get a different first three cards. So we can go up here and be sort by name, sort by color, sort by converted mana cost, sort by set and collector number. We can sort it any way we want to, but it has to be one of the first three cards. Well, don't sort it again. You're back in the original. Right, but I don't, what, do you, oh. what do you want? I think Sheldock Isle is good. It's a good, nice, easy start. Oh, we can always rearrange it. Yes. Okay. You don't get to just sort it once. I'm taking Shell Dark Isle. Okay. Um, ooh, Channel. Oh, man, we could have took... We could have took... You know what we... Oh, man, we could have took Channel and now... um. Natural Order. Oh, we actually couldn't take it. Because Converted Mana Cost is going to bring lands up first. Interesting. Oh, but Channel. There it is. What do we take here, though? Channel. Do you think it's Channel? 100%. But how are we going to get Eldrazi? Converted mana cost? That's going to sort by lobe first. And you can't click it again to like reverse it. What about rarity? I guess Eldrazi would be mythic. You gotta, yes. kind of hope to hit that. You got to hope that they're mythics, you know? What else would you want to take out of this pack? I don't know, actually. I think it's powerful enough. I mean, Underground Sea is an option. Yeah, I don't know if we're black yet, though. I mean, it's, it doesn't have to be black. It's just a really solid du dual land. Well, if you're not black doesn't really make a lot of sense it does if you have like a bloodstained mire in your blue red and you just want a blue source like it's it's totally fine you don't have to be black god biscuits there's a Kozilek oh man it's the fourth one name color oh colorless is in front that's really unfortunate rarity dang Set and collector number and product type. Oh my god. Mm. Product type and rarity is the same, right? Yeah, that doesn't sort differently, so. Wow. That's rough. That is unfortunate, dude. Okay. God. I mean, Elspeth has the most powerful card. I'll take Frost Titan. All right. Any vetoes? Not to my knowledge. No, I didn't say. It was not specified. I also don't think it's... Hey, Vivian's actually pretty decent. I don't feel bad about taking Vivian. I would have liked Tooth and Nail here, but I'm going to take Vivian. Oh, Crater Hoof? For sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, Finhorn Elves. Converted mana cost? Yes. Yes. Wait, Ulmog, hold on. Is there a way to get Ulmog with rarity? No, it's a fourth. Oh, dang. It's because colorless goes last. Yeah, so if you do like if you do color, it's the last one. Oh, and even rarity, it's still white gold colorless. Oh, that's annoying. Have us Archangel's a mythic? I didn't know that. Really? Oh, she's a legendary. She's insane. I'm not saying she's bad. I'm just... That's what that's what it sounded like you're saying. Wow. Can we get this Leovold? What did the woman in that video want from the camera person? We don't know because it's like five minutes, so. I stopped watching because, oh, come on, Woodfall Primus. Oh, it's just rare. Wait, this is a gold rare in front of a green and white rare. That's interesting. What order are these in? They threw a dart at the board. <laughs> I don't think there's anything good here. Oh, dang it, Woodfall Primus. It's always fourth. Uh, we could take, like, Revoker in the other pile. Was it rarity base? No. It was one of them. Mana cost? Yeah, all right. Revoker's actually probably fine. Yeah, it's not bad. Reclamation Sage one time. Never happening, right? Oh, my God. Come on, come on, come on. Second collector. Yes! Nice. This is such a... This is so... Like, we're still, like, like, gambling, gambling. the system. Yeah. Oh, Vivian Reed. Come on. Papa, hit it. I think it's just Vivian Reed. Yeah, I don't care no, about Grave Titan. Rich. Yeah, we don't need to be black. Um, nature's claim seems fine. Can you, can that cause electric table? I don't know what pack it was in. Oh, we got a rate of seven. Oh, mossy beard. What up, my dude? Welcome, welcome. Is this Nykthos? I don't think it's Nykthos. It gets crazy at 334 in.
Eh, Ophio Mancer's fine. Guys, I don't think Kozlek's coming back. Actually, I don't want to put it on stream just because... Yeah, I wouldn't. I'll probably just watch this whole thing later tonight, to be honest with you. I got five minutes to watch a crazy person. Whoa, Mike joined the club. I recently shaved my dome. Love it. Nice. Oh, you guys joined the shaved dome club? Dome in. I'm faster now. And cooler. Basically, I've just become a more efficient human. God, where's Kozilek when you need him? It's hard to watch? Oh, no. I bet it is. That first minute was hard to watch. Send it to me. That's in the, it's in the chat. Oh, now. okay. I'm curious too. It's a classic pick. Wait, oh. no, this is a special, so it's gonna definitely be in the front. I think. Also, you... convert man. Oh, convert man calls make a fourth rarity. Come on. Oh, thank oh, God. Thank Jesus. Oh, thank baby Jesus. Yeah, I thought mocks would be first. They usually are, right? Well, yeah, because they're a special rarity, so they're like the highest rarity possible. They're like uh, technically above mythic yeah. or whatever. Dalkery, what up, my dude? And bald Mike. It's true. It's going to be a while. Get used to it. <laughs> Mike was like, I'm tired of not being able to get a haircut, so I'm just going to shave my head. Maybe I'll do the same. I got clippers for you. Mm -hmm. I guess Katie already has Michael, I have, I have clippers. Oh, yeah. We've been over this. <laughs> I like that you have clippers that I can use. And Katie probably has some that I can use. Meanwhile, I don't think she does. Yeah, she does. Does she? Why? She said she did. Great man cost. Oh, I want this elf. How can I get this elf? I don't think I can. Den protector is an option here. Mystic confluence, actually, depending on how how deep we go. What would it take to get you to grow back into a mullet? Disgusting. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's going to be Ashiok or, Denpr or uh, Mystic Confluence. I think it's Mystic Confluence here. Maybe that elf comes back. Elfie, come back. Come on, Wall of Roots. Somehow, I don't think there's any way that Wall of Roots is going to be up here. No. Oh, so close. It might come back. Uh, so close is too off. I don't know if how close that is. I mean, Creeping Tarpet's an option. It lets us play Leovold, and it's good for, like, Mystic Confluence and... I don't think we should mess up our mana for three colors. Well, we have no, there's no other picks. There's no other green cards. Oh, okay. Plus, we have Leovold, Michael, so what problem is? Also, Breeding Pool is yeah. great here. But is Corsair better? Your love for Leovold blinds you. The card's amazing. If you can ever cast it. Is it that hard to cast? Usually. I'll take Breeding Pool. Cultivate. That seems great. Yeah, that's good enough. There's nothing even else I want, so. This guy's good with channel. Look, we're just taking it from the first three anyway. We don't even have to sort here. Yeah, here it's pretty good with channel. <laughs> Can we I mean, were Eureka? Turn one channel and Blightsteel is pretty good, dude. What do you say about Eureka? How about a rat tail to go along with the train? Wow. This is a step, yes. Is there a way to scroll up and view chat matches without the chat jumping down whenever someone new posts? The only way I found to do it is you gotta you gotta scroll up enough so that it stops doing Ooh, that. Can we get that one I don't somewhere? think so. Not name, not color, not convert a mana cost. Rarity! Oh, it's the only mythic, nice. Yeah, I'm definitely taking a little log here. Slam them and jam them. Eternal Witness is super nice though. Maelstrom Pulse? I kind of like Maelstrom Pulse here. Well, that's not what we wanted to do. Apparently it is what you wanted to do. I think it's just Maelstrom Pulse. We have Tar Pit, Breeding Pool. I don't think we're playing anything else. You have a My Elder? Can we do that guy? I guess. Rarity. We're never playing him. Well, I mean, I don't think we're getting him. I would probably play him, like, just because we're trying to fix our mana. Yeah, that, we can't get that dude. Mm. I guess, yeah, I guess it's Brawl. I guess is right. You guys are just watching me like cycle through these cards. He's a maniac. Maniac. Whatever. Den Protector's fine. Mystical Tutor gets channel. Turn one breeding tool, Mystical Tutor into channel seems actually pretty decent. 
Uh, yeah, it seems like kind of the nuts. It also gets Mystic Confluence, so. And Pulse if you play. I want this Trigon Predator. Give it to me. Give it to yes. Perfect. Eh, I think it's actually just Heroes Downfall. Animate dead? We can get an animate. Oh, it's already in the three. There's already three here. We can get it. You're right. You know what? I'll show and tell here. Yes! Last pick Eternal Witness? It's actually really good. Wow, that's exciting. That's really sweet. Oh, man, that's great. I'm going to go to the bathroom after the draft portion. That's exciting. This pack's very unexciting. If this was... Oh, man, I wish it was like a trop or like a bayou. Baleful Strix... Acidic Slime's actually fine. The Slime's fine. The Let's Slime is fine. Shark Typhoon is meh. Meh. Mm, I think Slime is solid. I think it is Slime. I just Although nine times out of ten, you're like, well, I wish I could kill Planeswalkers. <laughs> oh, Bird of... Oh! Okay. Oh, oh Mythic, 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 Mythic. Oh, wait. Oh, oh there's a Mana Crypt. Fuck! <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna say it. I think Oko's better than Mana Crypt. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. Well, okay, think about this, though. Two colors mana isn't actually that great for us. I know, I keep thinking that. Like, these are the only two cards it's really casting. Like, these are all hard to cast. This isn't cast. These... I mean, it's obviously good with Frost Titan and Critter Hoof and the other and stuff. And it's good, like, everything here. What if it tables? Well, table? The Crypt or the Oko? What are you, out of your mind? They Are you smoking blue, they crack? Be blue and green. Have man. you been doing the methylamine? I, 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 I hate to say it, but I, I think it's Oko. We already have a Mox too. Also, Mana Crypt can kill you. I'm taking Oko, dude. Yeah, that guy slaps hard. Oko, no joke. I kind of want this Elves of Deep Shadow, but I don't think it's possible. Oh, it's possible. Uh, oh, it's possible. That seems great. It lets us play Leovold and Maelstrom Pulse, like... Yeah, it's very good. Finale's okay. I like Solemn, though. Can we get Solemn? I don't think so. Um, hmm. Scavenging is his Deece. Excuse is okay. This might just be Finale, actually. I mean, Finale gets us anything. Also, technically works with Channel, right? Uh, yeah, but you had a 4 green. If you yeah. got 4 green, it works with Channel. Yeah, let's take Finale. I guess Vraska's fine. Mm, this pack's kind of trash. At least for us. What is? This pack's trash. I also don't know if we can even get Vraska here. <laughs> not that. Not that. Nope. Not rarity? No, because there's like five mythics before oh, it. Yeah. Oh, set and collector number one. Pyromancer's wins. a mythic? What? Yeah, this guy's amazing. Not mythic amazing. No, it's very good. Really making you draw. If you have no cards in your hand and you play this, you just draw two. I guess so. Plus you make two elementals. Like you can exile to make two more. Like the card does a ton of things. Well, he's not playing any formats with this. So. He's played in a ton of modern. Really? Yeah, dude. He's in like tons of modern decks. Is it possible for you to get your head out of your ass, Michael? I don't know anything about modern or care about it. Is it Garrick? It's a, it's a format that doesn't exist as far as I know. <laughs> It's definitely Garrick. The card slaps. It could also be Green Sun Zenith. Well, it's not. You have to rearrange, but... Also, a lot of our creatures are not green. I like Green Sun for, uh... For Leovold. That's a... That's Witness. A, that's a banger. Pretty good with Witness, too. I don't think we can get Green Sun, though. No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, we're just gonna get Garrick. Just gotta type. Oh, that works, too. <gasps> Bayou is banging. So is elves, but we already have two elves. I also don't think we can. It might not be possible to get elves. Oh, it is. No, it is. Oh, all right. I well, think it is wanna, Bayou. If you want to play Leo, although I'd, Brass is also decent. Mind twist. Or time warp. Or both. I, I don't know how that. Mind twist is better, obviously. I think it's mind twist in this deck. We already have Mox. We got some ramp. Channel mind twist seems really good. Your shaved head highlights your injury. wonderful cheekbones. Appreciate it. Mm. I think this guy might be fine, right? 
Mm, there really are things for the life gain in the matchup where it's relevant. Sure. As a leak. And no one respect the workshop. I guess it's kind of like, it only goes on one deck, right? This pack's not exciting. I don't think it matters. No, it doesn't. Hey, Bone Shredder. I don't think Bone Shredder. He's ready. Wow. Duretti and a Johnny in this pack? Jeez. No respect is right, dude. Fiend is good? I don't think Putrid Fiend is very good at all. Especially not in our deck. So this is actually four lands and 24 cards. 23 cards, rather. I don't think there's anything in the sideboard we're playing. Nope. Probably oh, I guess we had, we do have Animate Dead. Like, I guess... Oh, wow. That's a Laden Tomb. <laughs> we could play both. It's not very good in our deck, though. Yeah, because neither... Well, you can Entomb Ulmog on turn one, then Animate did it. Mm, it's all right. Fiend, the green card that sacks and searches. Oh, the two dead. Yeah, yeah, actually, that guy's not bad because you're because when you fill your graveyard, it gets bigger. I always forget that part. Actually, all right. Are we playing anything else in here? Rexage, Witness, Maelstrom. I feel like we're thinking to get Edric out. I don't, I don't love Edric. Oh no. I'd rather play Finale over Edric. Or Nature's Claim. I think Finale in the deck like this is great because you have a lot of like silver bullets like uh, Acidic Slime, Eternal Witness, Rexage, Yeah, it's actually Leavold. Really good. Yeah, yeah. I also don't know if I love Trigon Predator because I we already it. have Rexage and Acidic Slime. Kerwin, have a good night, buddy. Well, we need 23 cards. Wait, seriously? I hate you. <laughs> Can we play Ophiomancer? Or is it too greedy? We just play Nature's Claim I'm also. I'm trying to play like Anime Dead. Alright. I mean, we have no outlets for it, but... You guys just play like Bone Shredder. Bone Shredder's kind of boring, though. Boring, but we might need it. We have, like, not a lot of hard removal. Are there any other, like... What are you thinking? I don't know. Is there anything like that we could... We could play Nature's Claim, but I don't think we need it. I think we have enough of that going on. No, I don't... I, I mean, I probably sooner play Trigon. What about just Revoker? Just is like, a solid answer to, like, random stuff. Exciting. I sold 75 cans. Why are you like this, Ari Laxative? I think it's anime. I like, what about show and tell? Do we show and, like, are we a show and tell deck here? I think show and tell is a, no, it's it's such a terrible card, but like, there's times you just put a blight seal into play. And yeah, but like, like, like blights, like they're both indestructible, but there's plenty of answers to that in this cube, so I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. You always say it's a trap, so I mean. Brought no fuel mancer in. Also, Ophium mancer with Vraska is pretty good because. You can sack the snake. Sack the snake. Sort by color. All right. By my deductions, we are green. One, two, three, four. It's probably fine. Plus, you have like cultivate. You have uh, elves of deep shadows. So, like six black sources. One, two. And blue, we have one, two, three, four, five. Mm, Tallulah. low. We want to be able to cast Oko and. Frosty T, Tutor. 10, 11. We can definitely shave off one of those and play another island. We have more islands than we do swamps, but like we have one, two, three, four black cards and one, two, three, four, five blue cards. Like it's very similar. Plus we have double, we only have single black, we have double blues. Yeah, we also have one, two, three. I would just shave a forest and an island. 16 lands, Mox. Yeah, all right, this seems good. I was going to go to the bathroom. I kind of just want to play, though. I have to go now. I'll miss you, everybody. All right, we're back. Mike is gone. He'll never be back. Um, 
I'm actually going to keep this hand. Any of our sweet three drops, like uh, Leovold or Oko, are fantastic draws. Both these Planeswalkers are good. I just remembered I had leftovers and knee scooted across the house so fast it sounded like a train went through my house. Still on a scooter from... Oh, okay, that makes much more sense. I was like, Dockery, why don't you just walk? I can imagine you on your like actual knees and just like scooting across the house. I'm like, you know, that's a weird choice, but... Hey, buddy. You do you. I'm taking their time here. Oh, okay. Are they killing this? No. Okay. No. Let's see, we got four lands. Well, this is going to be one of those drafts, guys. It's going to be one of those drafts. It's no longer one of those drafts. Oh, that just snap resolved? We're not going to turn this into an, an elk because I might just want to... Uh, I mean, if we draw any land, we can just play one of their two Planeswalkers next turn, so... Oh yeah, that's fine. Well, we did not draw a land, but Mind Twist for three does not seem terrible here. I mean, Mind Twist being random is really pretty good. Crack is Venser and Wrath of God. pretty rough we got maelstrom pulse oh they might not even attack oak oh they don't attack anybody <sighs> let's mox emerald because that's basically a land i think it's just better to play one of the um one of the five mana planeswalkers probably monsters advocate i mean we can easily destroy the face fetters But we only have one blocker, and then it'll go. Then uh, Vivian dies. So I think it's. I think it's just Vivian. I, like I don't care about this right now. We can destroy this at any time. I'd rather play this and start pressuring with with other creatures, especially because she's real good. Uh, let's say vigilance. Yeah, our hand's actually pretty good right now. I kind of just want to Maelstrom Pulse that guy. So still five mana. Oh, we can actually... Oh, man, if we had one more mana, we could actually play Frost Titan, uh, negative two Viv, and then go get, like, Rex Age or Acidic Slime. I mean, we can still play Vivian, kill Face Fetters, and make this a generic 3-3. Three, three. Which I think we're going to do. Oh, we just won the game. <laughs> okay. That'll do. I missed the whole draft portion because I was done English and sure, but this deck looks cool. Hey, buddy, why don't you have me up on your phone? Did you ever think about that, smart guy? 
So what do we see? We saw like Venser, Caracas, Wrath of God, um, Monastery Mentor, Blade Splicer. Like that's what we saw. I mean, hmm. I think I think we're actually fine here. I'm not like super. Our deck literally has some of my favorite Sultai cards in it, so that's cool. You were up on the laptop. I was doing my phone. I just wasn't... God, typical. More like average Fritz. Oh, okay. I was like, cancel. Oh, no. What do I do? Get rid of a forest here. Oh, man. Can we draw Mox Emerald one time? That would be the most banging draw ever. I mean, that's a good draw, too, but not yet. Yeah, that's fine. So we get to go Leovold next turn. Mind Twist for three, perhaps? There's going to be four minute Elspeth. Jace Vryn's Prodigy, sure. Oh man, I hope they Jace on their turn. That would be banging. Jace. 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 <laughs> I'm in the superhero union. I don't know, bud. I don't know. <gasps> yes! <laughs> yeah. Oh, so satisfying. I said jerk. Jerk is is blocked out there. That's weird. Well said. Oh man, discard a card. Seems good. Gijin, you got it. Oh man, that's wild, dude. Oh man, and we get to draw because they targeted us with Gideon. <gasps> dude, how? Must be. attack Gideon we because we have to so here's the thing they're gonna kill Gideon on their turn or they're gonna kill Leovold rather we're gonna draw another card they only have two cards but then we're gonna have creeping tar pit to finish off the Gideon we also have finale for a three drop next turn but we're probably just gonna play like Vivian Reed to keep a mystic confluence or something yep draw another one well Leovold has drawn us two cards and prevented them from drawing a card. Jeez. Guys, this is why you play Leovold. This is why it's banned in Commander. Um, I mean, we just attack it with Creeping Tar Pit, right? Like, I mean, they have to have an answer that, that an instant speed answer to Creeping Tar Pit. Oh my god, you do? Wow, that's wild. <sighs> Okie dokie. It's pretty good. Man. Yep, that's good. Well, Jace is going to flip, so... No more looting, which is fine. Six, okay. Yep, that's just a solid 10. <sighs> really, if we had a questing beast, then we can finale for questing beast next turn, but 
without that, we're just blocking because I want to take 10 here. Yep, just going to pass. And we're actually just going to bounce Gideon and Celestial Colonnade here. So, unless they tap out for something really scary. Time warp. Yeah, that's worth countering because they're only going to attack with Gideon this turn. Vivian. None of these Vivians are great against Gideon, unfortunately. Only Maelstrom Pulse. They can also Jace and get. Oh, man. Like, two Planeswalkers is pretty rough. I'm actually surprised after this fantastic Gideon hit that we don't have, like. A better board here. So what does Mystical Tutor do? Not much. Mm, actually, gets Maelstrom Pulse. Yeah, we do have Maelstrom Pulse. We can Mystical Tutor for it. Like, Vivian Monster's Advocate doesn't do much here. It doesn't get rid of any Planeswalkers. Actually, she just dies to Celestial Colonnade. I think it's either, I mean, it's either Garrick Ophiomancer or Ophiomancer Mystical Tutor. One, two, three, four, five. We have seven mana. This is four. This is three. We can also just play this during upkeep. Mm -hmm, so free. I mean, they could, if they want to colonnade, like, and attack Garrick, like, that's their turn. So, like, we're putting them in a position where, like, if they want to do anything, they have to give up attacking our Planeswalkers. Okay, so they, they targeted Time Warp, so they're not going to attack with colonnade here, at least. Which is fine. I mean, they can attack with Gideon, but we'll just block with Snake. Yeah, this is oddly fine, and then during their upkeep we get another Snake, so... Yeah, that like that like didn't even that didn't actually do much. I mean, every time we can get mystical tutor, get uh, maelstrom pulse, kill like probably the Gideon. Okay, so they're going to Wrath and then attack Garrick with Gideon. Sure. Now Jace is at 1. And we stay at 10. Oh, they're just going to our face. Interesting. Do we have anything that deals with this? That's the question. 1, 2, 3... Four, five, six. Uh. Vivian actually makes reach creatures, which is nice. Maybe we just play Vivian, then we make two guys. Actually, that's not bad. Oh, they drew a counter spell. Wow, that's that's something. All right. Yep, that'll do. Seems good. Yep. So planeswalkers, huh? I mean, it's almost worth playing here as downfall. No. 
Yeah, finale for, finale for slime would have also done it. Show and tell. Actually, their deck doesn't seem great against show and tell. That's interesting. We do have to get Ulamog and Blightsteel into our hand first. Heroes can kill Colonnade, but I don't have. I, I don't want to have double black. Because we only have like six black sources. We have one, two, three, four, Elves of Deep Shadow, and Cultivate. I think we're probably fine. I don't know. Um, no blue sources. A Rex Sage. This hand doesn't do much. I'm gonna keep this because, cause channel basically cause channel. And I don't really wanna go to five here. Like I'm not super. Channel. Channel's gonna be right here. I'm, I'm convinced. It wasn't there, but nonetheless. Channel's here, though. Still no? Okay. Nahiri. Interesting. Well, we can't kill a Nahiri with a Nebraska. I mean, Green Sun Zenith is fantastic. Yeah, all right. They have no other pressure on the board. Yeah, we'll just go plus. Not because, like, if they have fire ice, which we know they do in their deck. I don't really want to kill a Thraben Inspector and then lose this to Fire Ice. Or next turn we can actually just finale for like Leovold. It's gonna be Gideon. I think Gideon Juro is actually really good in this cube. It's kind of hard to deal with. Yep, that's good too. Sure. We can actually get Rex Sage and kill Elspeth, but Elspeth doesn't actually do anything right now because like they have. No targets in the graveyard, and the the most relevant mode is the first one. So, channel Ulamog one time. Still no, huh? Okay. Search library. Uh, leave old. I mean, at worst, we're going to draw a card, so. Okay. Are they going to search for, like, Emrakul? I feel like, oh no, they're just going to draw this card. They could discard something good here, actually, and then get it back next turn. Yeah, that's pretty good. And they just get planes. All right. Still better than not getting a free Sun Titan. Is it Emrakul? Are they Emrakuling us? They are Emrakuling us. Okay. 
Well, we tried. It's just one of those no drawing channel kind of days, guys. Turns here at the end step or the getting X end step, yeah. So they can't like recast it. I'm waiting. It can't be it can't be Emrakul, right? Like it wouldn't take you this long. Blade splicer. Wait, what? Golem artifact creatures you control have Oh, this got plus one plus one from the Elspeth Conquerors death, not from like any other reasonable card. Okay, they're also attacking with Colonnade here, so they're just going to bash our face in. I guess it's just they're attacking for four. Oh, Gideon. Wow, this is a hell of a hand you had here. Yikes. Still, still feeling channel here. I'd rather this be in the graveyard because it requires them to attack, whereas, like, at the end of the turn, it's just going back to their hand anyway. Channel. Forest. Forest is good. I'm going to scoop here because I don't feel like we're going to win this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to three. No? Can't draw a card? Sounds good. Well, we tried. We tried. Yeah, this seems fine. Forest is like a channel, but different. Um, we're just gonna play elves first. So that he can get killed immediately. Uh, goodbye. No. I mean, because this lets us play Leobold potentially next turn. On the bright side, your hair looks fire tonight. Well, I appreciate it, buddy. This is the first time I put, like, product in my hair in a while because I felt like it was... Hmm. Yeah, we'll just play land here. Matt, when you use these frog icons, it really reminds me of Elias. Oh, that's that's kind of rude. Flame slash. Hmm. See, now you're just gonna make me kill this. This is what you get. Haunt master. Of the fells. Green source. Come on, just give me a second green. It's gonna be a channel. Oh, what's a second green source? Seating song, Kozlek, Kiki Jiki. Well, that's pretty cool. Kiki Jiki's pretty good to get rid of because then you would have just been copying your hunt master for a million years. They didn't attack? It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. How does this, can someone tell me how this works? Can I kill, can I kill this with Vraska? 
Didn't they change it so that it's converted mana cost is like four now? I actually don't know how it works anymore. I'm very confused. The bottom half of a flip card contains the alternate name text box, type line, power, and toughness. Permanent is on the battlefield only if the permanent. So flip cards, color, and mana cost don't change. So it's it's still four. They they changed it so now it's like four instead of zero. I mean that's fine. I've missed a confluence. I'll just bounce it. I can take like six, bounce it at the end of their turn, play Frost Titan, tap down their green, stuff like that. You know, things like that. And if we hit, like, another green source, we can play Eternal Witness Maelstrom Pulse, kill it, so. Now they're attacking. Okay. I accept your six. Yeah. What? Wait, you don't play this pre-combat? I'm very confused. Things are happening right now. I don't understand all the ins and outs of them. Alright, we'll counter. We're going to do all three. I'm just going to leave the Ravager on board because I'm pretty sure we're fine with Yeah, let's do that. Target spell, target creature. Because we got two draws. And Vivian Reed's not terrible. Blight Steel, however, is. Swamp. There's also a channel and a mystical tutor in there. Alright. Well, Swamp is decent. Let's just play Frost Titan next turn and Vivian Reed survives, so. Spencer, I appreciate you uh finding that info for me, buddy. Chandra. Well, she can't kill Vivian Reed. Okay, so we go to we either go to six or Vivian goes to two. Vivian goes to two. Sounds good. Is that a crater hoof? Let's play let's take Shell Dock Isle here. Shelly. Oof. Oof. I hate having Oko on the bottom, but geez. Yeah, this feels decent. We're at 22, they're at 31, so with our draw for the turn and our draw with Vivian, we just get to play... Mm, that's fine. I'm, I assume I'm going to 8 here. <laughs> yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. That's Vivian. Hit another thing. And we're just attacking Chandra here and keeping uh, Ravager. Let's keep a land tap down. And then we'll destroy Forest Ravager. And they have three lands. Uh, 
Yeah, abrupt decay because you can abrupt decay any of them. You can abrupt decay like Delver of Secrets, Hunt Master of the Fells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Real close to just hard casting blight steel here, guys. Also, probably just gonna cast Braska this turn because it just gains us some life. Uh, attack Chandra. What's going on? Oh, we just we just win. Okay, <laughs> that was fascinating. Uh, Kitchen Finks seems actually decent here. Probably cut Rex Sage. We didn't see a ton of tar. Actually, we saw a Rakdos Signet, I guess. I don't know if I even like Crater Hoof that much in this deck. I'll just cut Crater Hoof here. Weird. What a weird choice. Well, that's interesting. I think Blightsteel makes this a mulligan. Eh, I think this is a keep. What is this from? I don't know who this is, but I'll open trade with you. Are they just taking a bunch of my stuff? What's going on right now? I don't know what this is. What's happening right now? Okay, I'm just gonna go now. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, we just win the match. All right, cool. Everything's happening. Well, we are currently 1-1, so. That was a fascinating match. That is, so I'm just gonna join my match. Where'd my match go? Oh, here, I found it. We're playing against Significant Pickle, guys. Uh, I think we're gonna keep this hand. Are they, though? Spencer, buddy? I have no idea. It's hard to say. Rex Sage. I want to play Swamp because if we draw a blue source, we can go Emerald into Leovold, which seems good. I think we probably played against Significant Pickle before. That doesn't. That wouldn't surprise me. source acidic slime huh hmm what are the one drops we can get I should have taken a screenshot of the deck I guess we can actually go here and go deck right Findhorn elves elves of deep shadow that's it okay We can go Rex Sage, but that doesn't do anything. I think I feel like we're just destined to take four here. Actually, we can finale for a one drop here. I don't think it's terrible. And it lets us acidic slime next turn. Yeah, seems fine. Done. Super exciting. Search your library? Sure. It's the only place I want to be. I'm just going to get a Fintorn Elf because we don't actually need double, black, need double black for anything and I'd rather not be taking point after point of damage against any sort of white red aggressive deck. So, Yep, yeah, that's annoying. If only that was an artifact. But, I mean, they're not 
advancing their board at all. And if we draw a blue source, we can still play Leovold, so that's pretty good. Leovold. Five drop. Let's just pass. Is this a Kithkin Spirit artifact? No. Okay, just a Kithkin Spirit. This is where they go land here of Bladehold. And then we're going to be like, well, that'll do. Well, they didn't pump, so they're definitely going to do something. Brimaz. Big brims. Land. Blue blue mana. All right. I'm just going to scoop here. We're, like, we're going to take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Go to five. And we just can't hit a fourth land. So. Oh, look. There's blue source. That would have been nice. Kitchen Finks. Bone Shredder comes in. Crater Hoof can come out. Finale's a little cute. Rex Sage can go. I mean, Revoker just does a fine job on um, Figure of Destiny. So. I'll keep this hand. Well, that's the dream we want to live. Do we also play Revoker on turn one? Naming... I don't know. They got five cards. I almost want to wait until turn three to do this so we can hit, like, a land and a creature. Unless they go land creature on turn one. And then we just... Then we just feel good about our life choices. I'm ready. Oh yeah, let's do it. Oh yeah. Here comes a guy. Dang, no guy? I don't care. We're just gonna do it. We have to kill one of our own lands? That's rough. Oh, they conceded. Okay, let's do it again. You hope to find a century. And I need you to do it one more time. Name that movie. Neither of these games was any actual magic played. It's true. So now we should probably get Blightsteel instead of Ulamog, I guess. Come on. Oh, jeez. I'm still keeping it. Oh my god, Mystical Tutor? No, that doesn't get a creature, though. Still keeping this... And this is six on, on the play. And we do have a channel. You can also go just turn two Kitchen Finks, which is nice and easy. Kithenia. I'm just going to go up with Deep Shadow here. Yeah, because it's a cast trigger. Like, if you don't resolve the cast trigger, it's fine. Like, it still just resolves. and It's nice because he's not in play, you know? Uh, if we actually draw, like, one of our 
big dudes. I think it's actually really insane here. But if we just draw that, it's not as good. So I guess we'll just play Kitchen Finks. You already finished your article? Yeah, I, I write them on like Monday night, usually Monday evening. I don't want to send them in too close to like the deadline. So. I appreciate you asking, buddy. Good looking in. I mean, we're 100% blocking Thalia and just gaining two more life. And Actually, we're blocking Kithian because I want you to waste your turn by making him indestructible. Like, the thing is, if we just hit one of the big monsters, like, we still get to play Channel into, like, Ulamog, so. That's pretty good. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> like you do. Um... We didn't have to show him. What if we had nothing, dude? Oh, my God. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate the support. Unreasonable tuna fish. Hopefully, the sort the sort of step where we only were able to pick the top three cards. Uh, hopefully, that worked out well for you. 2-1. I am satisfied. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Head on over to manatraders.com if you want a great subscription service for Magic Online. It's 20% uh, off the first three months with the link and promo code down below. So, it's kind of a great deal. And it's a great way to support the channel. You can also go to patreon.com slash if you want to support the channel and the content for like a dollar a month. It's super easy. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.